Welcome back. Uh, this is Eugene Blanchard, and today we're going to look at Band Lab Cakewalk Studio Instruments and specifically the drum kit. Uh, so, so we're going to do a little bit of housekeeping here. Uh, what I notice is I have a track already set up and I want to delete it. How do you delete it? Well, you right click on the track and you there's a pull down menu and it says delete track and it's gone. So now we have a fresh start. Let's see what I'm going to do here. I'm, go I'm just going to lower the uh, output level so that when the drums start playing they're the same level as the microphone. So now to add the drum kit what I'm going to do is add a track, select instrument and go to my instrument menu and there's studio instrument drum kit and then I'll create it. Now what's pretty cool with this is it actually has a drum kit shown and what I can do is I can play the individual drums. Here's the bass drum snare, hi-hat, tom-toms, and some cymbals. Uh, they come up with a preset position and for example the uh, hi-hat here is a little bit to the left. I can click and drag and that'll change it all the way to the other left and then click and sort of push drag and now it's on the other side. So we can actually play around with the position of our instruments. It does come with example beats and this is what this section is here. So if I click on plus, here's a, under electronic and pop beats, it's got one that's called aggressive. Now, we have all sorts of different beats for hip-hop and jazz, blues, rock, soul, and funk. Right? And that gives you a little bit of selection to play with if you're sort of drum challenged like I am. Now, what's cool with this is that I can go back to my uh, swing hop and I can actually change the drum kit. So right now it's on the de default, so if I click on here, I have a program browser and in the program browser it shows you all the different drum kits that you can use. So I'm going to just click and drag it down uh, so we can see all of them. There we go. So I put it on loop. So now, how do you get that into your track? Well, uh, here's my drum kit. This is my track here. I'm going to set it at um, measure two. So all you have to do is click on swing hop and drag it and drop it on the measure that you want to start at. So now it's on measure two. Now what I can do is pan over and I can click and drag it again on measure six. It's a little bit of gap. A lot of times there isn't a gap. Now that we've uh, put it, I'm going to close this off. Now if you wanted to open it, all you have to do is hit right here. And now it opens. So this button here opens up your drum kit. Let's see what it looks like under piano view. So I go to views, uh, piano, roll view, and this is what the drum kit looks like. So let's go to the beginning. Here we are. And if we click on these, this is the, uh, looks sounds like a tom. You scroll down a bit, okay. So this must be our bass drum. This one doesn't do anything. Oh. So on our keyboard, this is telling us what's the sounds that are being made. So let's go way up here and see. There's nothing here. If you press on a key, it's going to highlight all the notes, beats that are on that key. Right? So all I did is I pressed here, highlighted them all, and now I can drag them. I made it simple. So let's hear what that sounds like now.
Uh, a lot of times these ones don't make any sound and what I'll do is I'll just delete it all just to make it less complicated. Or as you see I'll drag it down to something else. And maybe what I want to do is make this a tom so I'll and we'll see what that's like. That way you can play around with your drum beats, create your own, start with an example from them, get the sound you want, then play around with the drum beats that you, that you like. Uh, I always leave a, one measure ahead of time because I like to do uh, sort of an intro. So what I'll do is uh, uh, if I highlight this note, now the draw tool, and I've sw switched the draw tool up here, it will take that note's length. Right? So if, I put a, a bass drum beat. Um, I want a note that's this wide, so I clicked on it. Then I go back to my drum beat, and then I'm going to say I want a, a snare hit. So here we go. So we have a little intro. So that's basically an intro to the drum kit and you can see how you can kind of play around with it, come up with your own beats, uh, you can delete beats, you can add beats to it uh, just by playing with the notes. Uh, that's all I wanted to talk about for today so thank you very much.